Y'all just had another like random video to throw out. It's about like it's about like streaming, like and trying to get into streaming and do streaming. Um The crazy thing is it's like everybody that says they wanna be a streamer now, if you're like nineteen and older, I feel like streaming wasn't something that like was a major consideration of a job to you like or not even just a job but like just it wasn't something major that you wanted to do but not it seemed like everybody wanted to do it like maybe that's a bad example i feel like if you're like 25 and older because even like at 25 like or maybe maybe age don't got to do with it it could just be like what you grew up watching and uh if you feel like you that entertaining but like me like i grew up watching streamers and stuff like that and you know i'm 26 so it's like i, I never really wanted to like <clears throat> i never really wanted to get like into streaming like but I always knew, like, I wanted to do it, but I never, like, wanted to really, you know, like, if somebody's, it's not, it wasn't my passion, if that makes sense, like, it's not, like, a passionate thing, like, yo, like, I really want to stream, like, I want to stream for reasons of, I mean, everybody's reasons is kind of common, like, common things, so it's, I'm not really, di I mean, like, we're not really that different from each other, but it's, like, I want to stream because, like, you know, I'm one of those people that likes to be by themselves. Like, I mean, like it's a, it's a it's an on and off. Like, I do sometimes, but I don't mind spending time with people. Like, but just where I'm at in life is just like, dang, I choose to like just stay by myself because, you know, I feel like if I don't got shit going on, like it's just like it's nothing really that it's not nothing to where it's like like I can really enjoy being out. Because it don't really feel, especially if it's the same stuff you're doing, it don't really feel, like, I don't know, like, rewarding, or, like, it don't really feel that, you don't feel that same type of feeling you had, like, if you just went out and did something with your friends, and then y'all didn't do that thing for another, like, 10 years, and y'all did that thing again, it's like that, but if you do the same thing for forever, for, like, multiple years, it's like, it don't feel the same, like, but for me, it's like, yeah, the reason I want to do streaming is because, like, I feel like I want to connect to people that, like, I don't know, like, because it's like, I don't know, I feel like streaming is, is, is for me, is like, it's like a new form of the, the term online friend, like, <clears throat> you make an online friend, and it's basically like that, like, it's like a new online friends like it's like a you know because like back in the day online friends would just be like oh i made friends through facebook or i made it's like just a new step of making online friends i feel like and i'm not saying i always wanted online friends but i'm just saying like you know because i never had a need to be online to try and talk to random like i wasn't that like into social media or that like lonely back in the days where i needed to talk to pe random people online like you know, any people I was talking to online is strictly female. Because <laughs> I'm trying to, yeah, like, I'm not talking to random, random dudes online, like, nah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, but nowadays it's like, bro, like, it feels more connected. Like, it feels like, yo, if I started, like, if I had an audience, a small audience, and I started streaming, like, it feels like, yo, like, I can like real time interact with all y'all instead of just having to find people online and try and talk to them that way. Cause it's like, it, I feel like that makes it harder like to do it that way. Like, that's why I feel like streaming is like way easier. And then it's like, it's people that you don't know that will support you. Like, like people that you never knew you would meet or, or see or learn about. Like, like people that you would never see in this world and they just support you because they like you for you. Like, that's why I want to stream because it's like, you know, 
you know, obviously you get that feeling from your friends, or you get that from your friends, but it's just different when it's like somebody you don't know, and it's like, yo, this is fire, like, you telling me you gonna rock with me, like, well, whatever I do, like, cause you just fuck with me, like, nah, like, I like that, bro, but at the same time, it's like, it is a relationship, like, whether we, like, whether streamers, like, big streamers, know that it's it's a relationship bro like you gotta be, we we benefit from each other because i gotta be something that you can be entertained by or i gotta be a person that you could be entertained by and doing things that you know you like and then for me it's like you just gotta be here and support me like that's it but yeah that's what that's why i feel like i want to <clears throat> get into streaming because it's like, I just want more people to know who I am, which, I mean, like I said, everybody that wants to get into the entertainment field or like, you know, entrepreneur, like music, business, trying to network, they all want to be known and for people to know who they are. So it's like, it's really true when they say it's not meant to be for everybody. But it's not the fact that it's not meant to be for everybody, because it can be for everybody. We can put up a system to where it's like, yo, everybody can do this type of field. Like, if we can literally make it into an actual job. Like, you know, it it can be for everybody. It's just people won't get as paid as the 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 um you know better people at that job. But the only reason why it can't be for everybody is because people that try and do it like, like i ain't know why i'm somebody that, that wants to do it like by themselves so they can build a foundation and then network and, and work with other people when i have something to show like because people always want me because i like i'm really into music and i don't want to give up that passion ever like i really don't because it's like bro like i like making music <laughs> i just do like so i don't like i don't want to be old and still do music so but for me, it's like, you know, for the people that say, like, it's luck or, you know, it's not meant for everybody. I don't think that's really like the luck part is true, but it's more of as people, we can develop skills. So I think like, yeah, people have natural talent, but you can also learn that talent. Now, I might not be to the best as that as that other person, but at least you can learn it, you know, and and be somewhat decent at it like like acting somebody can learn acting that's not an actor all actors had to learn how to act like you know some was naturally talented but like most actors probably had to go to school to learn how to act and they're good now so it's like it's the same thing with anything so i don't think it's really like like everybody's not supposed to make it or everybody can't do it or whatever it's like no nah, i think it's just people like it's people like me that like is doing music that wants to do music but they might not have the resources to invest into getting like um better equipment or like you know they might be a procrastinator or lazy or like they might not take it as serious until they get you know their shit together with like an actual job that they can get into right now like and make money from to support them so it's like that's why I feel like you can make it. I think it's just if you, it'll be easier if you have the same mind, the same minded people around you, um, to help you. And on top of that, if you do it by yourself, you just gotta put more effort into learning how to do everything yourself. Like, like I know, like for me, <clears throat> I know for me. I got to invest in a Mac, like, I still don't have a Mac, a MacBook, bro, like, I'm still recording on my phone, so it's like, this not gonna go nowhere, because it's, like, it's terrible quality, <laughs> so I was like, who wanna watch, like, who really wants to view this, like, my lighting's bad, I got a five head, <laughs> like, my hat don't even fit my head right, I got a... <laughs> I got dark light and my audio is bad because my phone is fucked up. Like, you know, nobody really going to tune into this. And if you do, I appreciate it. But like, 
my whole point is like with streaming though like i don't know it just looks fun because i've always watched streamers like i said like i've always like i kind of since like since like high school bro like i always grew up watching streamers so it's like i don't know it's like it's something i always wanted to do because you know like when i think that's another thing like it's a feeling like you know when people when you feel like you're really good at or not good but you feel like like yo like I feel like I can do this or I feel good at like at this thing you know like one of my friends he was he went to school to be a cook and you know he really felt passionate about it he liked cooking it's like the same thing it's like he naturally felt like you know he liked it and he naturally was growing good with it because he just naturally was doing it that makes sense like same thing with, with me and music like I ain't gonna lie, I got into music because, uh, my, um, my, my ex at the time, she liked Chris Brown, and I think it was her birthday or something, so I, I wanted to, like, surprise her and, and, and do a song for her, um, a Chris Brown song for her, uh, and sing to her, because my sister always, like, the, I got into singing, like, because my sister always used to sing, and I didn't grow up having, like, a brother in the house with me. Like, I have a brother, but he didn't live with us. So, well, at a certain point in time, like, he was, like, in and out. But um, she used to sing a lot, and I felt mad competitive because I'm like, yo. Because, you know, it's like having no brothers, it's like, bro, I ain't got nobody really to compete with. So it's like, and I value family more than, like, friends, I ain't gonna lie, so it's, like, like, I didn't really, because I just felt like I couldn't really be myself around my friends, so it's, like, you know, I value, you know, trying to have a better relationship with my sister, because, like, at the end of the day, that's my sister, so it's, like, you know, I'm, like, fucking, I might start singing. So I just started singing. So I, I guess I always had a good voice. I mean, I kind of, my shit now kind of ass because throughout the years, I kind of fucked my voice up. But before, it's like, yeah, I had a good voice. Like, everybody told me I could sing. I was nice, stuff like that. So, yeah, that's how I got into singing because it was really because I was trying to impress my ex um, or do something nice for my ex. Um and um after that i just started getting into chris brown's songs so i'm like yo i like his singing voice like you got he got a nice singing voice like everybody knew chris brown so i'm like yo then people started telling me i started to like people was telling me i kind of look like him like this was like back in high school though this is like like middle school high school and i was like oh, i kind of see it but then i started getting mad because a lot of people started saying that. i'm like bro stop saying i look like this man like no he looks like me like stop Stop comparing me to him. <laughs> but then, um, you know, after that, my cousin was starting started to invite me into the studio. After, you know, after that, going into the studio, I was like, yo, this sound fire. And she was trying to get me not to use auto-tune, because this was during 2016, or no, what year? This was like 2015, 2014. This was like when the Uzi Cardis and all that was kind of starting to pop out, and auto-tune was heavy back in the like back then in like 2015 14 16 and she was like yo you don't need to and this is when people started like didn't really like the auto-tune sound and she was like yo you don't need auto-tune like what are you doing like i'm like but i i like like i want to like i like using it like i like how it sounds like after that i just you know looked up how to like record music by myself and stuff like that and i just stopped going with her because it's like i don't like what people try to control what I want to do with my music, you know what I'm saying, like, you're not going to tell me not to use auto-tune for my song, like, that doesn't make sense, like, you know, and then on top of that, it's like, I want to be independent, because it's like, I don't want to be under your wing, and then you start to lay when I'm one of your artists, and it's like, I don't got my own tight brand for myself, like, yeah, like, I want to have my own brand, and then I can look about signing an artist and all this, but like, Cause I feel like as an artist, you kind of got to sign 
to something because you can't it's going to be too hard to make it independent like you got to be extremely talented and most people not aren't like i'm not extremely i'm not even really that talented like i'm talented i think i'm somewhat talented but like that's why it's like hard to know because you know i don't have no equipment or nothing to really see how my voice would sound in a professional setting but that's why i think it goes back again to why i think people can make it because if you put most people in the studio and give them like a little bit of vocal training and tell them like if you direct them and guide them on how to do certain things most people can make i ain't gonna say most people can make a song song but like if they get a ghostwriter and all this and whatever and they get guidance i feel like most people can make a decent song like that's why i feel like it's not in a in a yeah i'm thinking a professional studio like like take any high like take any um known artist best known artist with the best producers like if they if y'all got put in those producers um studios like you can't tell me y'all not making a decent song at least like that's why i'm like bro like that's why i'm like bro i need to know how i sound in the studio an official studio or just me like even having good studio equipment to see because even somebody like jace like he make even do like they make good songs at the comfort of their home because they got good equipment so it's like but then again i feel like at the same time most people will make generic songs because it's going off of how other people how like it's going off of what they like you know but you never know like that's why i said it should be something in place to where or i thought about this but i I don't think i made a video about it but it should be something in place where music should be an official like job if like it's hard to describe it like the bar should be low to make money that's the whole purpose of it like it should be low so people that want to do certain hobbies can make some type of living off of it. It shouldn't be that, yo, you got to gain this amount of people and then you can start making money. It's like we have better opportunities now for people to do things. So, like, why not make it more? Why not incentivize us more? Like, you know, at least it's like, dang, because it's like people do a lot of things that they like to do especially if people like people that actually want to do it i don't know bro. it's like dang what's the point if i can't even get nothing from this until i get more of an audience which is like risky because you don't know who really want to fuck with you like because people say oh no that that just means you got to put it in hard work it's people that have been working like working hard in the right way because people say hard work but you need to define hard work like because hard work isn't just putting more hours and more time into it like you got to do it correctly like because people always say that for music it's like bro if you work hard even streaming like if you work hard on this you'll get it that don't make sense bro like because these niggas probably been working hard for years and still haven't done nothing and then now they run into you and ask what did you do and you say work hard be consistent like i mean now now certain like streamers like and musicians are really giving you game and breaking it down but before it's like work hard consistency it's like nah you gotta figure out what to do to work hard and figure out what is gonna make you get up there but that's the thing it's like bro everybody like, I don't know, bro. but I'm just complaining, just complaining, I ain't gonna lie, because, because, like, you know, I can't complain when I ain't doing shit to really change shit and make, make things happen for myself, so, but yeah, it's like, but at the same time, it's like, bro, I still wish there was, like, something to where if you want to do music or if you want to stream, and like, like I have a friend that streams on Twitch. He only gets one view, and I don't think he knows that, bro. You gotta build an audience outside of Twitch. And I haven't talked to him in like, like damn near months. 
close to like a long time. So to me, it's like, bro, you gotta like. I don't think he knows, but you to in order to like be successful, you gotta really build an audience outside of streaming, like, cause I always thought like you could just turn on the stream and be consistent with it, and then more people are just gonna find you, like. But that's not true. Like, you gotta build an audience outside of streaming, so you have to stream. That's so, and it's so weird to do that. <laughs> like, I didn't realize you really gotta stream to yourself. Try and be funny to yourself, or maybe just one person, <laughs> and then you gotta clip that stream and post those on TikToks and every other platform, and try and make it that way. Like, that's the easiest way to make it. But you gotta like really try and be funny. Like, like that's 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 crazy. Like, I I, I always thought you just sat there and streamed. And then more people just was like randomly tune in. Like, I don't know why I always thought that. Crazy. But yeah, like, I don't know if I'm going to drop this video. I probably won't. But if I do, what's up?